Hey everyone, welcome back to another sample and phenomena. Today we're going to be talking about the 16 levels. Me and Tracklip, we're doing this together. We're going through the history of hip hop, talking about the uh, beat making process, talking about the techniques that were used, basically going through all these tips and tricks that the first producers started. And they started on these old machines, but they're still used today on these newer NPCs and other samplers as well. So the 16 levels, what can you say about this uh, button? this function that's inside the MPC, it really, I think, really shaped the music in the 90s. It really shaped how hip hop sounds, actually. If you think about it, there's so many techniques used with this button that, you know, it really makes you wonder where would hip hop be without this, uh, this button, this function of the 16 levels. This is how we chill from 93 to There isn't really a producer that we can point that would you would say like this is the guy that really worked with 16 levels the most. So the person that we should say thank you for this would be Roger Lynn that put it in the MPC 60. And from then on, you know, that machine shaped music overall. So it shaped hip hop. I think you can even say that that button, that function would shape jazz in a way as well because a lot of producers would sample chords and then they would, you know, use the 16 levels to jump between different tunings of that sample. And by changing the pitch, they would be creating modal changes, which is adopted by jazz nowadays. It's really, it's widely used. And that's it. I'm just going to go and make a beat with the 16 levels. Let's get into it. So this is David Chesky. This is the song that I picked to chop. And you get you get plenty of chops here. You got you got a piano chord here at the beginning that I chopped, and then you have several horn samples that you can pick from. And and the way I like to um, to dig through track clip, you always get suggestions. And when you get down here, you see this. Keep digging. This is what I do basically, it's just you always have different, they've given you different paths to choose from. And, and you know, you, you get to a lot of a lot of music like this way. So this is, you know, I can go through genres and collections and whatnot, but uh, I just like doing it this way, just, you know, just lose myself inside a track clip because you got so many things to chop from, so. Sampling Phenomena is brought to you in collaboration with TrackClip. TrackClip, it's an online platform dedicated and specially curated for beat makers that use sampling as their tool to produce music. The thing that separates TrackClip from going in and digging in record stores is partly its crate digging focus and features like multi-tracks, digging by genre, artist, or labels. And you can also filter by the release date and the region. TrackLib does all this and then allows you to clear your samples for the low and in minutes. All right, let's get into this. Let's start with a sample. So I have that chop right here. That's the cut, go to 16 levels, and it's gonna use the tune. There you go. Okay, we have our 16 levels on. We're gonna use, we're gonna use these two pitches. Super simple, it doesn't need to be complex or anything. We're just gonna record these in, all right?
Okay, let's go straight for the drums right now. We're gonna put some kicks, snares, and hi-hats on top of these samples, all right? I got my hi-hats, got my snare, and I have my kick. And what we can do straight away is use the 16 levels to record our hi-hats. So this was commonly used, still used today. You just go into 16 levels, choose the pad. Instead of going for the tune, we're gonna go for the velocity, right? I know you guys are hearing a lot of noise that's coming from all my gear purposely I'm adding a lot of noise to the beat so we have this set to velocity so the that pad has the velocity to the maximum this has the velocity to the minimum so we have different sets of volume okay very commonly used with the horns so we're going to get into that as well but first we need to record the hi-hats and what we're going to do is just going to jump between the different velocities so we can have like a, a human feel to the hi-hats okay Cool. so we have that down we can use the 16 levels as well to find like the right volume for the snare in this case that's the snare I'm gonna go into 16 levels and see what the level we can use it for that as well it's, it's a good tool okay there we go so 16 levels again working for us just trying to find the volume for things and you can use that for any any type of sample if you're trying to put a sample onto the sequence you can use 16 levels to kind of find the best way the best volume for that sample and then we have the kicks now the the kicks i like to record them at full velocity and then the ghost notes i go into 16 levels to have different a different volume for my ghost notes so it's very useful for that as well okay so 16 levels choose the kick velocity use the 16 levels for the drums just so we can play with the velocity play with the volume of the snares the kicks and the hi-hats so very useful so I'm trying to make the video short we're gonna jump straight into the horns so that's the horn right there if we go into the 16 levels then we have the velocity and that's that's the effect This sample has a lot of stuff, a lot of horns in it. So I picked other chops and came up with this pattern. You, ha you hear that sample? That's using 16 levels as well. Just goes down in volume. It's so jazzy, like that fading away. Obviously the thing that's lacking is a bass. So I loaded up a bass and I'm gonna use 16 levels to play a bass as well. So that's the bass and just go to 16 levels, turn this into tune. Okay, and then you just play it out.
So that's pretty much it, you know, just using the 16 levels from basic chops like a piano chord and just using some horns to again create that echo effect and a bass like nothing in here is, is super complex but because of 16 levels you're able to put a beat together really simply and a beat that sounds good in my opinion obviously we have the help from the the 202 here to make it sound more dirty <laughs> That was it, just using the 16 levels. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share the video as well. Also, don't forget to go and listen to my beat tape. It's on all platforms. And if there's anyone out there that likes to collect records, I'm also putting the record out. It's on pre-order now on crates. All the links down below. Thank you so much once again. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Take care.